up the mic. See, I went down with the virus. Yeah. <laughs> I've been protected all this time when everything was so dangerous. But Lord kept me to the time that he had the medication to keep me out of the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right on my back in a few days and I looked and I saw my wife get to sit. She had the virus. But he gave me the strength to get up, change the bed around, clean the room, and make a spot for her to lay down so I can take care of her. So I just
Father, we thank you for all that we have gone through, all that we are able to do. Give us the joy of your salvation. Teach us to continue to speak your name. Whenever we get an opportunity, Father, open our mouths to say, it's the Lord Jesus. It's the Lord that did it. How did this happen? The Lord God did it. How did that happen? The Lord was able to, everything that is good and perfect that comes from the Lord. So as we continue the service, we ask you just to continue to be with us, direct and guide everything that happens, that we may be followers of your holy name. These are all other blessings we ask in the name of our Lord, our Savior Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah and amen.
said? Amen. 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 Let's put our hands together again for our choir.
we decided to email this doctor. And he emailed this doctor and said, I have concerns that my wife's hearing is going bad. And the doctor e emailed him back and said, do a test. Started at one end of the house and asked her a question. And if she doesn't answer, then go closer. If she doesn't go closer. And then finally go in her person and ask her and check to see at what point does she hear. He decided to try it out. And while she was in the kitchen, he started at the opposite end of the house. Honey, what's the matter? Didn't hear a word. Decided to go one room closer. Honey, what's the deal? Didn't hear a word. Finally, decided to go all the way up in on the kitchen. Honey, what's the deal? She said, John, for the third time, chicken is for them. Sometimes we can think it's those around us who have the issue. And sometimes we're the last ones to find out. It's me, myself, and I. We're in some times, brothers and sisters, when the truth can escape us if we're not careful. We're in times, brothers and sisters. We are facing a war on what is truth. Yes. The Lord led us this morning to just share uh, some words here from him regarding the truth about the truth. Hello, somebody. Sometimes uh, we're tuning in here in 2 Kings chapter 22. Uh, a brother named Ahab was leading God's people in Israel. And sometimes our leaders can uh, depart from the truth and try to lead folks in their own way. Yeah, yeah. I wonder, has anybody had questions about our country's leadership? Yeah. Our yeah. government leadership? Yeah. I wonder, have you had questions, not just about the president, the governor, the mayor, councilman? Hello. And how does the leadership in that area, in society, compare with the leadership in the church? Who do I follow? We may be in times where there's a lot of confusion on that question. Right. Brothers and sisters, we're, we're tuning in on a brother called Ahab. And he was supposed to be in charge of leading God's people of Israel. Mm -hmm. God's people were unique unto him. Yeah. But Ahab uh, kind of had his eyes set on other things. Right. One day he met this hot chick. <laughs> she was super dressed from head to toe. Mm -hmm. Lipstick, stilettos, mm -hmm. eyelashes. Oh, oh. <laughs> eyelashes. Hello, somebody. <laughs> she was dead from head to toe. Right. And she was a daughter of another king. Back in those days, it was a custom that if you didn't want to go to war with that king in his country, marry his daughter. Mm -hmm. But this daughter had something else going on. Mm -hmm. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, he, he took her out to dinner. Mm -hmm. And since he was a king, she had eyes on him. He had eyes on her. Y'all got to be careful about the minds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't take long before they crossed over. And 
That boy was in more trouble than he ever realized. Do y'all know what her name was? Jezebel. Hello. I've been in the ministry now. I'm 62 years old. Been in the ministry over 30 years. I have never known a mother to name her newborn daughter Jezebel. Jezebel was quite an influence for all the brothers under the sound of our voice this morning. For those of you who are single, you want to be careful. Y'all hear what I'm saying? For those of us uh, who are off the market, and we've got sons and grandsons and great-grandsons, we're going to tell them to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Jezebel's are still out there, y'all. She didn't go to church, y'all. She went to the church of the weekends. Hello, y'all. That's witchcraft. You didn't know what I meant. Hello, y'all. And she was a negative influence on her husband. Pulled him further and further away from the Lord. It's a lesson to us to tell our young folks we got to Help them be mindful and careful who they get yoked with. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Amen. There's a lot of, lot of young folks, a lot of folks, period, these days, not thinking right. And when our children cross over with them, it may not be long before our children are not thinking right. Yes. Y'all know that that's how strong the glue works now, right? Y'all gonna let me do this by myself? Yeah. Hello, somebody. <laughs> but the glue pulled Ahab further and further away from the law. And brothers and sisters, we can't follow the Lord if we follow someone, we get yoked with someone that pulls us from the law. How does it begin? It all starts with that L I E. Lie. Sometimes we think we gotta do uh, some terrible, horrible stuff, actions, rob somebody, uh, steal, but departing from the Lord simply begins with what comes out of our mouth, called the L-I-E. And she was good at it, y'all. Ahab wanted some property next to the palace, belonging to a man, honorable brother, church-going brother. Named Nabal. And he wanted it so bad he had the problem of covetedness. He sees something he wanted and he figured he's supposed to get it. None of us had that problem, right? Hello, hello, hello. He talked with Nabal and said, Hey, can you give me your, your property, your vineyard? I want to plant some vegetables in it. I want, I want to plant a garden in the back of my house. And your property is exactly what I want. Name your price. Let me, let, let me have that property. Abel said, King, this is an heirloom in my family. And it's promised to my sons and their sons. I can't, I can't do that. And the boy went home sad. And he didn't get the property. He come Jezebel. He said, boy, why you got a sad face? You the king. He said, brother won't sell his property. He said, you, you, you a pitiful big man. Let me, let me handle this. So she set up Nabal, called for a party to honor him, and then she arranged for two low-down scoundrels to sit next to him and to falsely accuse him of committing blasphemy before God which was punishable by the death penalty. The plan worked. They accused him, stoned him to death. The boy died and she came back with the deed, gave it to her, her husband and said, here's that property you want. Go get it. But the Lord was watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got what he wanted by telling him L-I-E. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how 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 pervasive has that L I E 
gotten in our leaders today? Yeah. Can you smell an L-I-E when somebody speaks it to you? Hello, somebody. Can, can you tell when someone knocks at your door and is giving you an L-I-E? Can you tell when somebody calls on the phone and gives you an L-I-E? Here it comes, here it comes. Can you tell when a loved one, somebody in the family, your child, your sibling, hello, somebody you jumped the room, the room with, gives you an L-I-E. Hello, y'all. Brothers and sisters, if they tell us what we wanted to hear, there's a great possibility we might not discern it's an L-I-E. Y'all hear what I'm saying? How many of us have believed what they said, hook, line, and sinker, got down the road? Y'all quiet. Yeah. Yeah. You guys preach that one by yourself. It may not have been, you know, a significant other. It might have been a business deal. Yeah. It might have been a, a partner at work. Uh, it may have been a, a government leader. Somebody that won our trust got down the road with an L.I.E. And to our surprise. Lord, I think I've been had. Yeah. Hello, y'all. Brothers and sisters, the first line of defense in these times that we're in, Ephesians chapter 6, get down to verse 14. First of all, verse 10 says, we're, we're not wrestling with flesh and blood, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. But against principalities, rulers of darkness, yeah. spiritual wickedness. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. Wickedness in high places. Yeah. We're in these times, y'all. And the Lord through his word just wants us to stand. Yeah. Anybody here ever felt like giving up? Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Do you know somebody who felt like giving up? Mm -hmm. Verse 14 yeah. wants us to stand. What's your first line of defense? Anybody remember that, that armor? Mm -hmm. Put on the whole armor of the Lord? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. It's just words, y'all. But the first line of defense is the belt of truth. Yeah. That holds up all the rest of the army. In other words, yeah. I, 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 I've got to commit myself to the truth as my first line of defense against in spiritual warfare. Hello, somebody. As my first line of defense, God will enable me to discern that L-I-E. But Ahab was happy that his wife got what he wanted based on an L-I-E that cost an innocent man his life. Yes. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. When we get this kind of perpetration in high places, right. leaders willing uh, to operate on an L-I-E that can cost innocent people their lives, Hello, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. But God is watching. Yes, he is. Yeah. And so the Lord sent Elijah and said, boy, that's going to come back around. And Ahab humbled himself, stopped going to church. Okay. Hello, somebody. And sometime later, went back to his old ways. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yes. Brothers and sisters, coming to church is just not enough. That's right. Amen. Hello. Hello. Yes. We got to humble and submit ourselves yes. Yes. to the Lord, y'all. Yes. Because we're in some times when the consequences could be pretty great, y'all. Just between, with the war between truth and lie. Yes. So he started going to church, but he didn't really change. Kept his ways. Kept listening to Jezebel. 
Hello, somebody. And then finally, finally, uh, met up with a younger brother leading God's people in Judah. And it was time now to go into battle. And the younger brother named Jehoshaphat said, Hey, Hal, you got a prophet around here? You got a real preacher? And you surrounded with all these false preachers. All these false prophets. Give, give, give me a real preacher. Because Ahab has surrounded himself with folks to tell him what he wanted to hear. And they all told him, hey, you the best. You the king. You're going to win. Go on in the battle. The victory is yours. Thus saith the Lord. Sometimes, uh, these days, folks will get on their smartphones. Without going into the church house, they can pull up a voice with a message that they want to hear. Yeah. yeah. A whole lot of itching ear messages going around on social media, y'all. That is the new church. Yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. What's up? Are all these apps out there got spiritual messages. Yeah. Hello, y'all. Dressed up L I E. And if I'm always plugged in, how can I tell the difference? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So they say the 400 prophets all in unison said, boy, go on in the battle. Mm. But Jehoshaphat said, I want a real message. I want a real preacher. Mm. Ahab said, all right, all right. And the preacher that be preaching stuff, I can't stand. <laughs> Sound too much like the truth. Uh, here we go, y'all. Mm. His name was Makai. Yeah. They called for Makai. Mm -hmm. The man I admire. Who under pressure, who under social pressure from the top. All right. Pressure from the government. Pressure mm -hmm. from corporate America. Pressure from all the high positions. That boy decided to stand on the truth. All right, all right. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Mm. First, he told them what he wanted to hear. Hello, just as a, a, a courtesy gesture, he said, all right, all right, come on, come on, give us the truth. And when Micaiah took the witness stand, all right. and he spoke, I love his testimony yeah, right. of what the Lord showed him. And, and Micaiah said, the Lord showed me. Mm -hmm. He was sitting on his throne. Y'all hear this? God on his throne. Yeah, yeah. That's the real place where judgment takes place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. God was on his throne. Yeah. And the Lord had asked the question, who's going to persuade Ahab to go into battle? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because his time is up. Yeah. It is time for him to pay for his sin of what he done to my servant Nabal. Yeah, 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 yeah. God's judgment had been set. Yeah. And ask the question, who's going to persuade it at? And before God's throne, there were folk on the left and folk on the right. Yeah. Hello, spirits, y'all. Yeah. But then the spotlight shined on this one spirit that showed up. All right, I'll go persuade him. Get this, y'all. And the Lord said, how are you going to do it? He said, I'm going to be a lion spirit. And mm -hmm. his not one, 400 prophets. Wow. Did y'all get that? Yeah. That amazes me, you all. Yeah. Our God has got so much power yeah. Yeah. that he is yeah. sovereign over Satan. Yeah. Yeah. He is sovereign over all the the evil spirits of yeah. all the fallen yeah. angels, he is sovereign. Yes, he is. And even according to their evil ways, God has so much power that he can use them yeah. 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 according to his will. Yeah. 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 That amazes me, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. How powerful and sovereign our God is. Yeah. That even in times like these, our God is still in control. Yeah. 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 And I know we think society is going to hell in the hand basket. I know we think this and that, shootings, killings. Mm. But God.
God has got so much power. Yeah. Yeah. He's using it for his purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm tired of saying, uh, Abraham, I'm just one man. Hmm. And you got these 400 preachers around you. Hmm. All saying the same thing. Go in the battle we have, you're going to win. But I'm here to tell you, Ahab, hey, that the Lord has sent a lying spirit in all these problems. And you ain't going to come back from that. You think you got rewarded for that? Y'all hear what I'm saying? They have to put that boy in prison. Don't give him no, no ham hocks, fat racks, cornbread, and ribs. Give him bread of affliction till I come back. Sometimes the last word, if you come back, the Lord didn't give me what I told you. And Ahab was insecure after that. That boy stood strong. And the other king would say, all right, you dress up like a king, I'm going to put on the sky. Hello. And they both went out for the battle. And Ahab, you know, his, his scheming and trickery for the younger king to put on the royal robe. When the enemy caught up to him, he yelled out and they didn't kill him. And then the word said, one of the enemy soldiers just pulled his arrow, his bow back with his arrow in it and just let it go. He didn't know what he was shooting at. And the arrow took off, and God's providence was on it. And the arrow landed between the seams of Ahab's arm. And to that boy's surprise, blood was coming out on his chariot. Told his driver, I've been hit. We better take it on back in. Hello, somebody. And as God had prophesied, yeah. his blood that dripped from the chariot, mm -hmm. the dogs came and licked up the blood. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. Jesus said, if you follow in my word, mm -hmm. you are my disciples indeed. Y'all yeah. 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 hear what I'm saying? Yeah. And you shall know the truth. And the truth will make you free. Hello, somebody. I'm here to tell you all that the truth is not just found in the dictionary. The truth is a person. The truth is found on Calvary. More than the dictionary. One tribe. The one who said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. Yeah. Hung on three men. Yeah. Hung, bled, and died. Yeah. But early Sunday morning, he got up with all the power in his hand. Yeah. And he said, I'm going to send you another comfort. Yeah. He is called the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And he is the Spirit of truth. Yeah. In these times, by deception, you and I have the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit, to keep us out of harm's way. He's our guide, and he's the voice within. When scamming folks knock on the door, the Lord will tell you, I didn't send them. When folks call you on the phone, trying to get over on you. Listen to him. Yeah. And even when folk in the family are full another spirit, yeah. the Lord will speak to you and me and let us know that's not me. Yeah. I'm so grateful that knowing the truth yeah. will make us free. Yeah. How do I know the truth? We gotta abide in his word. Yeah. Truth is more than the dictionary. Truth 
Lord Jesus Christ. It is the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, who is the Spirit of truth. My brothers and sisters, keep walking in the word of the Lord. Even in these times of falling away, the word tells us that a falling away is going to come. And that folk will willingly be led by deception. Yes, yes. It's happening in our young folks. Yes. Know ye that in the last days many will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits, yes. doctrines of demons. Yes. Many of our young people are confused about their identity. Yes. Hello, about their purpose. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Spirit of confusion is increasing. Mm. But to you and me who stay in God's word, yeah. his word gives the truth. The truth is his person. And the truth will make you and me free. Yeah. He is coming back to you all. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Sometimes we're going to be out of number. You go online, make your posts, you're going to be outnumbered. Yeah. Folks are posting and believing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. That's not the T R U T H truth. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Stay focused. Mm -hmm. Stay in the Lord. Yeah. In these yeah. times yeah. where the truth is under attack. Mm -hmm. The doors of the church are open. If you're here now in the church, come on right now. Come on, come on.
she has really blessed my spirit with yeah. the challenges. God bless. Keep letting the Lord use you to speak. Amen. 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 God bless. Uh, I'm a Bobby. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Bobby Pugh. Yeah. And this man feel Bless your heart. appreciate you all. All right. All right. All right. Any other closing?
William, some of you in position. Come on and get close to the marks and uh, benediction. Amen. Let's all stand. Thank you.